me. So this is what it looks like, the package. At Metroplex Medical Center, Sneha Patel has ordered thousands of tests that may be key for ending national lockdowns. Other countries that are maybe two, three weeks ahead of us, uh, study, they're even saying that we should be testing more people without symptoms. The tests being tracked right now are nasal swabs that collect virus samples. But there's a growing push for serological tests, also known as antibody tests. They require just a drop of blood that's tested for antibodies, which show if someone has ever had the disease. They're relatively easy to do. That's like one of the first things I teach some graduate students in my lab. A pharmacology researcher at UNTHSC, Dr. Jerry Semeca, says antibody tests are typically cheaper and quicker than swabs. You could run thousands of samples very quickly. Patel has filled sign-ups for drive through tests in Plano, Dallas, and Fort Worth this weekend, each site able to handle 400 tests a day. In 15 minutes, a line appears, marking if positive, like a pregnancy test. Time is not on our side right now. The FDA has only approved one version, but dozens of manufacturers have informed the FDA of validated tests. It'll be very useful for maybe di dictating how businesses get back fully online. Up to 50% of people never have symptoms. Antibody tests would reveal who's best prepared to go back to work, go back to schools, and be able to help in hospitals. So we're trying to test more people that don't have symptoms so we could figure out, um, you know, how we could stop the spread of it. The tests are new, but quickly becoming available across the nation. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.